First stop, the glaciers and moorland, known as Paramos. The upper zone of the protected area is crowned by the impressive Antisana volcano. Its glacier is the largest in the country, with an area of more than 11 square kilometers. According to the locals, the last eruption occurred approximately 420 years ago, and it officially remains potentially active. The melting of the Antisana glacier originates tributaries to a number of important rivers. On the north flank, the springs of the Papayakta River are born. On the eastern and southern flanks trickle the small streams that further down merge into the Quijos River, while on the western flank the glacier produces the Antisana. A few minutes are well spent admiring the enormous plains that surround the lagoons and the volcano. This tall yellowish grass is characteristic of the high altitude Param, a harsh environment that yet harbors a surprising variety of life forms. A significant number of plants and animals have adapted to endure in extreme conditions where even oxygen is scarce. Thanks to the structure of its soil and vegetation, Paramo has a great capacity for absorbing water from both rain and glacial melt. Acting much like a sponge, Paramo absorbs water and distributes it between rivers and springs and also stores a large amount underground. This characteristic is of vital importance for the plants, animals and people who live downstream. Paramo is one of the main sources of water for irrigation, drinking water and hydroelectric power. The emblematic La Mica Lagoon provides water to more than half the inhabitants of Quito, Ecuador's capital city. On our way to the lagoon, we spotted a number of remarkable animals and plants, which we were able to observe more closely upon arrival. 